Welcome to another video of Syncfix. In today's video, we will see how to do networking in Proxmox. I have already set up Proxmox virtual environment. If you have missed that video, you can find the link in the description below where I have provided you a step by step guide how to do the installation of Proxmox. Now the Proxmox is ready in your environment and you need to do networking. So let us see how to do the networking. We'll go to data center here. From data center, you will expand and you will open your Proxmox virtual environment. So I have only one server configured here. These are all the options. I'll be just clicking on network. So if I talk about what is my current network infrastructure, so there is an internet gateway and I had the switch here. The wire is connected to the switch desktop on my network. I have various other laptops on my network. So this is my Wi-Fi access point, which is again connected to the switch here. So here is the Proxmox server on my network. A physical port is connected here. I have network attached storage also, which was earlier connected to this. So this was my previous setup. So I have set up open source firewall in my Proxmox virtual environment. So you can find that video here in the description below where I have explained you how to install PFSense. So which is already configured, but let me show you the networking setup in my Proxmox server first. This particular gateway had the IP address of 192.168.100. I have two network cards in my Proxmox server. So one has four ports, another has four ports. And I created three Linux bridges here and I'll show you what these three Linux bridges are doing. One is here, which is VMBR0. So by default, its name will be VMBR0, then VMBR1 and then finally VMBR2. So some of the ports are connected, some of the physical ports are connected to VMBR0, some of them are connected to VMBR1 and some of them are connected to VMBR2. So if I show you virtual machines, so I have various virtual machines here. So VMBR0 is for the virtual machines here. One of the port is connected to VMBR0. And VMBR1 is in fact created to connect to my NAS storage. And through this NAS storage, I'm directly doing backup to my back of my of my Proxmox server to NAS storage. This VMBR1, this is my network. This is for my external network, which is my router. So router is directly connected here. So my internet gateway is connected to the port which I have assigned to VMBR2. I have created one more virtual machine for the purpose of firewall. I have installed PFSense here. If you want to see how to install PFSense on Proxmox, I have provided the link in the description below. PFSense needs two virtual network cards. So one of the network card is connected to VMBR0, which will be an internal network. And one of the network card is connected to VMBR2, so which is for the purpose of network 192.168.240.0 slash 24. So this is my network address, which is being assigned to these all virtual machines. Through VMBR0, all my internal network devices are connected. All my VMs are connected. So physical port of VMBR2 is connected to the server. Physical port of VMBR0 is connected to the coming from the server. And similarly, physical port of VMBR1 is coming from the server. So this is my NAS storage and the IP IP address of and IP address is 192.168.1101. Let me take you to the Proxmox interface now and see how it looks there. So here is my Proxmox virtual environment. If you see here VMBR0, which is for the range of 240 and this 240 is for all my virtual machines, physical machines and my Wi-Fi as well. Eight physical ports are available. Most of them I have assigned to this because these ports are working as a switch as well. So physical switch is connected here, but some of the devices are connected directly to my Proxmox server. If you see here, you can add these physical ports into VMBR, which is virtual bridge here. So what I'm, I have done, I have assigned all these four ports to one VMBR, which is VMBR0. And one of these ports also I have assigned to VMBR0. So from, from this, this port till this port, all these ports are assigned to VMBR0. If you see here, ENS04, then 2F0, 2F, 2F1, 2F2, and 2F3. So all these ports are assigned to this particular bridge. And this EN03, this particular port is directly connected to my, to my NAS storage, 
which I have shown you already here. So one of the ports, physical ports is connected to one bridge, which is VMBR1, which is directly connected to the network attached storage. So this is, this is in fact VMBR2. And here for this one, I have VMBR, VMBR1. There are three subnets on my network. So one is having the IP range of uh, 192.168.100.0, which is connected to my internet. And then another is for my internal network and one I have created for my NAS storage. So this is how it has been configured here. So VMBR1, its IP address is 100.5. One is in the VMBR0 range, which is in 240 range. So which you can see that I have accessed this using this particular IP address. So internal network you have already seen. So let me show you VMBR1, which has the IP address of the range of 100.2. So if I go here, I can show you VMBR1. One port, one physical port is assigned to this because the network cable comes from network, physical network cable comes from the internet gateway and it comes here. And that is where VMBR1 is configured. And if you see here, the gateway IP address is 192.168.100.1 which is nothing but the gateway IP address of this particular gateway. So this has 100.1 and I have assigned uh, to this particular port, I have assigned the IP address also, which is 192.168.100.5. And if you see here to this one, uh, to this one, I have assigned the IP address. I'll just show you that as well. So here I have assigned 192.168.100.5 which is connecting to my local network as well as virtual machine. So if you see here, I'm accessing through 192.168.240.5, which is the IP address of VMBR0. And finally, VMBR2. VMBR2 is connected to my NAS storage. And I can show you here, it is bridge for NAS. And its IP address is 110.5. And my NAS storage IP address in storage here is my Synology NAS. If you see here, it's 110.10. So this server has got, this NAS, NAS storage has got 110.10 as an IP address. And this virtual bridge has got the IP address 192.168.110.5. I keep five for my uh, Proxmox. So I, this network can access the storage from 110.5 if on this network, I want to access the Proxmox, so I can access using 100.5. And if I want to access from here, so this is how my current network infrastructure looks like. Network configuration is totally dependent on your environment. So this was all about Proxmox networking, which is in my environment. Your environment could be different. So in according to your environment, you can do various changes in your network. So see you in next video. Take care and goodbye.